Classes called off in Henniger High School today after someone set a fire in a bathroom trash can. And just a day after students were kept home because of safety issues resulting from construction delays. News Channel Lines Callahan Marshall joining us live. She's right outside of Henniger High School tonight and she has more information. Callahan, you know, not even two weeks into the school year. And I know you talked to students tonight. What are they telling you about this rocky start? Christy, they're frustrated. So last year they weren't in school because of the pandemic and they missed their friends. This year, they're already being sent home, like you said, not even two weeks in because of pulled fire alarms, fires starting in bathrooms, and construction, as you can hear behind me. So they're just, they're really upset with the way this year has started off. I spoke with senior Shania Burris, who says she was just sitting in class today doing schoolwork when the fire alarm went off. She says shortly after, they were let out at 1230. Yesterday, they didn't have school, and today they were let out early, and she's, she's aggravated. I don't know what their problem is, and, like, whatever they're doing, they just need to, like, stop because it's not right to other people who want to get their work done and whatnot. It's, like, causing a lot of harm to like the seniors that are trying to get all their stuff done. As far as the fire alarms going off and fires being started in the school, Burris says she just wants it all to stop so she can go and enjoy her senior year. Live at Henniger High School, Callahan Marshall, News Channel 9. And a 14-year-old Liverpool High School student is facing forcible touching charges after police say he punched a classmate and teacher in the chest and grabbed their groins. It's according to the Onondaga County Sheriff's Office. The police report giving more clarity after the school superintendent emailed district families that multiple students and staff members had been assaulted. The superintendent says the behavior won't be tolerated and the student will face the most serious consequences dictated by the district's code of conduct.